celebration day in the capital city of their Pride Month. And a shooter killed two people, injured 21. He's in police custody. The police have said already that it is a terrorist attack, an extreme Islamist terrorist attack. It is shocking and awful. We've seen similar attacks in America and elsewhere. But here's the funny thing. If you today were to pick up the British newspapers, even the big ones, the big titles, there's barely a mention. So I turned to the Times, the establishment paper, who without doubt have the best foreign news coverage of any daily paper in the country. Big article on Ukraine. Big article on Russia. No surprise there. Big article on the USA after the Supreme Court ruling. Big article on Colombia. Big article on Spain, South Africa, France, Italy, Vatican City. I mean, there's wonderful coverage of everything happening around the world. And news in brief, just a couple of very short sentences. Blink and you've missed it. Why do the establishment not want to talk about this? Well, I think the real truth of it is that they're worried that the attacks, especially on gay people, are something that are likely to increase over the course of the coming years. We saw a similar instance of people being murdered in Reading a couple of years ago and an unwillingness to talk about it. And whenever it is debated, we'll be told that the person that's committed the act is suffering from mental health issues. We also publicly never get to grips with a proper debate about Islam and the need, in the view of many, for some kind of reformation to go on. I think we should be debating this issue. We should be talking about this issue. We should be worried about this issue. After all, if any public figure said anything, even inadvertently, that was taken to be an anti-gay smear, they would be cancelled and hounded out of their job. And yet this we don't talk about.